shit. Good afternoon. Hello, I'm Heidi, the mama here at Simon Says Stamp. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you're joining us live, I've got a surprise for you. So stay tuned. I hear some music in the background. Okay. We're, we've got Brian here in the studio. Reed and Brian set up most of everything that, that you can see around us. We have a special guest, and stay tuned because you're in for tons of fun. Now, earlier I mentioned, if you're watching us live, you have the opportunity to win a $100 gift card to simonsaysstamp.com. We strive to be your one-stop shop, so you can find all kinds of things at simonsaysstamp.com. Not only our exclusive Simon Says Stamp brand, we also have the whole line of Tim Holtz products. Just a, a little bit of a hint. You know there's a new color coming out for Tim Holtz. It's a new distress color to be revealed next Saturday in eight days. And you can use that $5 coupon, WLD for you, the number four, WLD, the number four, you. And I'm sharing that with you because you're watching us live. Um, Stephanie or Nina or Sherry, I don't know when that coupon code expires, but stay tuned because we'll also give you the date that that coupon code expires. And you can use that to purchase pre-order anything. You can also use it to purchase our hugs and kisses product line that we're going to showcase today. We have loads of inspiration for you and a special guest. If you're watching us live, comment, share. I can see the chat. Uh, Brian's going to help moderate for me today. I can see the chat. Share where you're from because somebody who is chatting live with us today is going to win a $100 gift card to simonsaysstamp.com. So if you're watching and you're chatting, stay tuned because at the end of this live, I will announce the $100 gift card winner. Anybody at any time today can use the $5 gift code WLD, the number four, and the letter U. WLD, the letter four, and the letter U. Wow. And then Stephanie's going to let us know uh, how long that code is valid for. Welcome. I see Alberto, Kathy Zilski. Thank you for joining us live today. I know that uh, Nina Marie Trapani is here in the live too. Susan is moderating our chat for us. So if you have any questions about the products that we use or the demo that you're about to see, feel free to put it in the chat. Now for the demo. Brian, are you about ready if I announce our demo artist? Yes, okay. I think we are. Brian's handle our, handling our technical today. So Sherry Carroll is one of our illustrators. She's our creative leader here at Simon Says Stamp. You'll see her often on our Simon Says Stamp blog, on our social media, and all around Simon. Sherry is part of our essence of Simon. So Sherry Carroll is going to join us remotely today. Hey, Sherry. I think Brian's getting ready to bring you in. Hey, girl. It's nice to hey. see you. You too. So I've been telling everybody that you're going to join us live for a demo, and the slider plate is what you're going to be using. Do you want to talk a little bit about who designed that product? Um, I did. <laughs> so this is the, uh, the die package. So it has basically a two rail system um, and a little pull tab that you can die cut. So it's, it's two pieces that you're going to cut apart. I've got to figure out where my camera is. Two pieces that you're going to cut apart. So two rails and a little pull. And it says pull. So you can use that on your cards. I like the little instructions on the envelope so that anybody who gets it that doesn't remember the video or what they saw on the website can have a, a reference point for how to use it. So thank you, Sherry, for joining us. Brian's going to take me off camera and focus on you so that you can do your demo. OK. And I need help, help on figuring out how to make this landscape. <laughs> so I think I, if I turn my camera that way. I don't know why this switched. We were all set up to go. Here we go. Okay, so I am going to be making um, this little card right here. And so what I've used is this slider glide plate. And what this does is it allows me to hide a little 
something here behind this to pull up from a card. So I chose these colors because I thought they were really fresh and something different um, than the usual Valentine's. I liked a little bit of yellow in there. So what I'm going to start with is, oh, and I need to show you guys the gliders um, and how those, there's two different ones that we have. So when you purchase them, you can either get the, the slider and the rotating one and you can tell the slider has uh, a straight line on it and the rotating one has a dot and the rotating one will let you just have stuff spinning around whereas the slider one will only move up and down those rails um, you can use either of these with this plate since it's two of them and then it will hold everything together going up and down Okay, so I'm going to put those back in my little tray. I like to keep them in our triangle tray. So I'm going to start this card off by doing some ink blending and using one of our fabulous stencils. And I like to hold this down. I just tape it onto the back. And it's either front or back. It doesn't matter which side you use. And our low, low tack tape is perfect for holding this in place. You guys can hear me okay, right? I can, yes. In the okay. chat, can now you guys hear her? Julie, Sue, Thankful Grandma, Wendy. I'll just, I'm gonna move my microphone just a little bit so it's more in front of me. Okay, so I have that taped down on the back side and now I can start adding some color on the front side. So I'm gonna use some cantaloupe ink and I'm just gonna smush that in. I'm using our, one of our pot tools to hold this in place while I work. And I like to tap this off a little bit before I get started and then I'll start blending this in. So I'm gonna do a two color stenciling on this and I'm gonna have the cantaloupe ink coming from the left, kind of going down to the right. I turn it around. If you notice, I'm picking up some of that ink that I've put down on the table or on my glass mat. I do love my glass mat for doing this ink blending. It's perfecto. Oh, Heidi, I did invite some family, so they're probably in the chat as well. <laughs> oh, yay. Speak up, family. Speak up. Who's here? We got Michaela, that's Scooter's new wife. I know she's here, and I believe my niece Courtney's here. Congratulations, Michaela, the newlywed. And Courtney's the mom, right? Courtney has- Courtney's a mom of four. Courtney's my sister Cindy's daughter. She's got little ones. Okay, so that now I'm gonna use Cheeky. And I thought these colors really go well together and they blend beautifully. So if you notice, I kind of have this area in the middle. I'm going to let the cheeky go right through. So when I have a blend of these two colors, it just gives me a whole new color to work with. So, so I'm going to add some cheeky. It's a beautiful pink, not too bright. I think both of these colors have such a, a fun, colorful look. And just keep adding that in. I do have a little sample of when I was completed, but you can see how that looks. So I did make one that we have Ooh, ready the to magic roll. of TV. Pardon me? The magic of TV. You betcha. Okay, so what I like to do now um, is to add a little more color over top. So since I have Cheeky, I'm going to grab some more of that ink, and now I can blend over that Cheeky color. And that gives me that really beautiful two-tone look where it's a little lighter and darker. And also, just as a tip, I do have this out. When I'm working with an ink, say I've already done that, I know that I have ink on my fingers from holding that stencil in place. So I do like to put a paper towel down and just kind of hold that in place while I add more color. That's that way I tip. won't smudge or do anything so I'm a messy person. 
And this stencil that Sherry used is called Hearts and Stars. It's a six by six stencil uh, available at simonsystamp.com. So here I'm gonna pull that color right down through that center. So I'm gonna get that mix between the cheeky and the cantaloupe. And then when I go back in with some cantaloupe on top, oops. And I am using our blending brushes and I have two different brushes that I'm using. I love these brushes so much. So again, I'm gonna hold that down in place with that paper towel. And then now with my cantaloupe, I can go in and start blending these over on top of each other. And that gives me that new little color in between that is really a nice blend. So when you're blending your colors or choosing your colors, make sure that they can go on top of each other. And by just sampling them out on some scrap paper, you can figure out if that works or not. There are colors that don't blend on top of each other, like a green and a purple. I'll just say. Sherry, what paper are you using? I am using um, the Hammer Hill. It's a 100 pound, super soft paper. Also, I wanted to say that I, I like a uh, lighter paper for using with the rail because I don't want uh, it to be too thick so that the slide, the gliders go up and down on that. So anyway, so once we have that, you can add as much or as little as you want, but I kind of like that combination kind of matches what I've already done. Right. So let me get these cleaned up here real quick. Sherry, somebody said this is like having you over for lunch. Oh, so fun. that is so fun. I love getting to do this. Oops, I just grabbed my cord to my Yeti. So I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. I just use a baby wipe. And I'll say that I keep my glass mat on my work surface the entire time. It is always here. I use it all the time because I use a lot of glues and icky stuff. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to use our dye, which I have put somewhere. Oh, up here. So what we'll want to do is I have this kind of off-centered. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's off-centered a little bit because I'm going to have this go behind this ticket. I don't know. I like off-center. There's less pressure when you go off-center. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and through the magic of TV. <laughs> I'm already done. So Next, I want to add my gliders. And I'm going to choose two of the little round ones. And like I said, you can figure that out um, because of the dots on the top rather than the line on the top. And you can use either one. Just I would just do the same um, for each of them. So how these work is you're going to feed them into one side of the rail and then grab that. And then you can feed the other side in. Super easy. Oh. Right? So how I designed this is the width um, of this die. It leaves you with these little pieces of paper, right? These little channels that you cut out. But I designed it to where those will fit perfectly across. Genius. So that we can... Um, Put your other piece on top. So next I'm going to use our red line tape and this is the quarter inch and I want to show you how I, what I've done with this. Um, the plastic that it comes with I just cut it out in a circle because this stuff is so super sticky and so then now I can just grab the top. <laughs> well maybe that's a hack I haven't seen anybody do yet is put the red line, keep it in the, in the plastic container and But wrapping. to cut it out, yeah. And because uh, this stuff, you know, it'll grab cat hair, dog hair, lint. Okay, this thing's sticking to the outside. That's why I'm having Red line tape is like the miracle tape. If you have glittered wrapping paper, which I did at Christmas, regular tape doesn't work with glittered wrapping paper, but red liner tape 
uses with glittered wrapping paper. And also ideology trinkets, these gliders. Uh, it works with everything. It's it's really the most, I don't know, yeah, I mean, strong? Like, oh, it's super strong. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> Has my family spoke up yet? Michaela? I haven't seen them. Michaela. There we Sometimes go. in order to speak, you have to log in and uh, that might. Oh, in order to chat. Yeah, yeah. she might be able to see us. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, so I have my scissors here. I'm gonna get rid of some of this end there. Okay. You're doing so great, I'm gonna, Pardon me? You're doing great. Okay. It's just so super sticky. You can glue anything. And I use this tape for a lot of my mixed media stuff because it will hold um, metal to plastic, metal to wood. Um, so I'm gonna cut little tiny squares. I gotta get this out of the way so I don't stick it on everything. And then just stick those onto your little gliders, okay? One on each side. And I'm using our Simon Says Stamp um, fine detail scissors to cut that because they are Teflon coated. Okay, so I have my little pieces here and I'm gonna peel that off. That's another tricky part is to peel the backing off. Make sure that you press that down really well. And then you can peel that off. So cool. If you're like me and you don't have nails, a piercing tool really helps for peeling your yes, fine tape. Yes, something. And these things are staticky too, so you'll find these little uh, baloney tape <laughs> stuck to you. So now I'm just going to set that on top and make sure I have them lined up and press those down. So now I have that little connector. Okay, so now I can put anything on top to create that. So for this one, I'm creating this heart and I'm using our new champagne cardstock. Have you guys seen that? It's so pretty. The champagne cardstock just came out. It's so Simon gorgeous. Says stamp. You helped develop that, didn't you, Sherry? Yeah. So it's, it's not a gold and it's not a silver. It's almost like a platinum with just a little bit of tan to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is decorate this little guy, and I have a few things that I've used. I'm going to do to my one and only, and this is from the Kathy Z Stamps and Die set. Let me grab this. Love these little sayings. And then she has all the dies that go with them. So all those little tiny greetings, they're beautiful. So that's a four by six um, stamp set. So we're gonna just start decorating our little heart that I've already die cut. Oh, and those hearts are from um, this set that uh, Christina Werner designed. And I believe I used this, uh, the fourth one in from the center or the fourth one in from the outside. So it was just a perfect size to go onto my glider. And for that, I'm gonna use some Simon glue. I use Simon glue all the time. That's like my go-to glue. There's a lot to work with um, on this little stamp and die. So I can just put this in the middle. And that'll take a second to dry. I also um, cut one of the little pull pieces and that's from our cotton candy cardstock. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue just to that bottom corner. Oh, this is where I need my tweezers. Our new tweezers. Yeah, to pick it up. And now I definitely want the pull to um, be upright in the correct position. So I'm just going to turn that a little bit. So Sherry has her blending brush on our Positively Everything tool, PET. It's uh, You can search P-A-W, Simon, 
on our website or Positively Everything Tool, positively spelled P-A-W-Z-I-V-L-Y. And it's two-sided. Sorry, I have a train going by. You can probably hear that. Oof. It's, it's two-sided, two so I use... developed it. Pardon me? I'm sorry. I talked at the same time you did. It's like Sherry said, it's two-sided. Sherry designed that Positively Everything tool in a lot mm -hmm. of colors, not just that's the one she's baby. showing today. Yep. yep, that's my baby. That was, I was like, what about an Apache? And then that's what happened. Okay, so if you want to put anything else on here, this is a good time to do it. And I think I put um, a little heart on this guy. So this heart will come from this die that we've used and you can color it or you can oh actually that this part is from something i'm going to add to this in a minute this baby it's a heart chain and the it's actually a lot bigger than what you think um so these are the interior pieces of those so you can really have a lot of fun with those so if you want to add anything else, do that before your glue is completely dry. And I'm going to just throw a little more glue on here. I do love working with glue because it gives me that time I need to move things around, figure things out. Can you guys see that? Okay, so that's my little um, piece that I'm going to put in there. And Nina and I worked um, together on some samples, and what we found, um, since this is lightweight paper, I did put a coin behind there so that it'll definitely fall down when it's done. Light paper might tend to just sit and not want to slide, um, but if you put a little bit of weight, you could put a small button or just something on the back side uh, just to give it a little bit of weight. It doesn't have to have much. So for this, I'll do a penny. <clears throat> and again, the red line tape. I gotta get this cut. How am I doing on time? Pretty good? Doing fine. Yeah, I don't even look at the clock. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you try to figure out how long these demos will go, and it's like I try to prep, but not too much, because you want to see some ink blending. Okay, got that. So I'm going to just put this down here at the bottom. Oh. And the penny should be about the same height as our glider. Okay. And so that'll help it move up and down. So now we're ready to add our little heart to our piece. And to do that, I'm going to use red line tape again. Oh, boy. And I like that the sentiments don't have to just be Valentine's. It's something that's, I, I hope people can see these products and understand, you know, you can love somebody any time of year. You can hug them any time of year. You can give them kisses any time of year. And I oh. think you did a really good job, Sherry, when you designed and illustrated a lot of these products to include non-Valentine sentiments, but also if somebody wants to make a Valentine's card, we do have Valentine sentiments uh, available, especially in this hugs and kisses both of these releases oh. here you have to my one and only which can be even a wedding exactly a wedding exactly you know and change your colors up and you can go with a more you know birthday color theme or change the, your background stencil it doesn't necessarily have to be hearts so the next thing i want to do i have that penny there so I'm, i need to center this guy i'm gonna go like that right there okay so now I have, and I love that red line tape because it's instant, right? So now I have, let's see if I can get this to go up, up and down. Um, another tip that I'm going to tell you is when you cut your rails, sometimes your die cut might leave little rough edges. And what I found is that I just kind of play with this several times and it kind of wears those rough die cut areas down. I should probably change my plate on my, um, my die cut machine. I'm really bad about that. It looks horrible. Okay, so to build this up a little bit, like I said, I cut that heart chain out of our champagne paper and I want to add this across the bottom. And to do that, 
since I already die cut that, I'm using our microfiber sheets. And I don't know if you guys have used this, but it's magic. So you have your little dots on one side and then you have the backing sheet on the other. And so I want to make sure that I place my die on those dots. So the back side of the paper is on the dots. It's very light and easy to work with once I press that down. God, I'm just klutzy today. Then I'm going to press this into the paper. What an easy way to spread adhesive over an intricate piece. Right? And if you want to make sure that you have a good grab, just pick this up and put it on another area and go again. And then that'll you'll make sure that you really get a good hold on that. So once I have this peeled up and you can see how it's pulling away. And you can use that over and over again until you run out, until you just don't see any sticky anymore. Okay, so now I'm just gonna place I want it kind of centered a little bit. This just gives me a little bit of shine and interest at the bottom. So now look at that. That's already stuck on. And it's starting to come together, right? Yep. And on the back side, I'm going to just trim this off. You can cut those out and use them for something else. There we go. Okay, so the next Thing I'm going to add is the you plus me die. I also designed that one. That was for our kit. I'm trying to find the package for that. I don't have the package out right now, but it's a really nice bold design. So I want to make sure that I set this down so I can see it's sliding. <laughs> See that entire message once it pops up. So I'm trying to get it, I'm getting a guide on where I want this to sit. Um, I've also done some um, ink blending on a piece of paper and I'm going to back this ticket with that. And to do that again, I'm going to use some glue. If you notice, I didn't have the cap on my glue. I'm going to show you another trick here that I'm using over here on the side. Hold on, just getting some glue on the back. I want this to be a really nice solid hold. And this is just gonna back that little ticket piece so that I have the color showing through. Um, I have this paint um, jar and I have a baby wipe down in there. And for right now, you, as long as that is wet, it keeps that glue flowing, so I don't have to recap it when I'm gluing a lot. So that's my, my handy trick. So next, I'm going to be using our 3D foam squares. And Heidi, I don't know if you knew that I keep these in our clear storage bags. So I, I did not know that, but I like that use. Oh, it's perfect size for these. And so what I need to do, if, if I just put just a single layer, it's going to bump into this heart, right? So I need to do a double layer. And so I'm going to put two on each corner of this ticket. So I'll just peel these off. I love these foam squares too. I love the rounded corners. It's easy to pull that adhesive off or that backing. Okay, so I want that to sit about right there. And it can go at an angle too. But what I need to do is I'm gonna just temporarily pull this off. And I'm picking up lint from my pants um, because I might need to readjust this. So I want this to sit about right there. But what I need to do also is to create a stopper if this goes all the way down, we're going to lose that pull, right? It's kind of gone too far down. So what I need to do is I want to create a stopper under here. I hope this isn't too confusing. <clears throat> but I'm going to put... Make sure, I want that heart to go right about there. 
Can you see this? I hope. Maybe I'll show up just I'll, a little bit. Yeah. I'll, let like me. two inches. There you go. Okay, so I've put another foam tape right there, and that's going to act as a stopper so that that heart can't go down any further once I do a double layer. Actually, let me get this pick. Just so it doesn't show. This is where you have to kind of finagle and figure out where you want it. Okay, and I'm going to do one on the other side. You see those? You guys see those? Mm -hmm. So those are like little stoppers. I got to peel that one off. And again, those need a double layer. I'm thinking, and so when I think, I don't talk. <laughs> so now we have a little stopper so that we still have our little pull, and then we can still see it, correct? Yep. And now I can add, take this off, and take this off, and I can press that down. Yay! So now you can pull it and it can, and it'll go back up and down on its own. So now we need to put, oh, I want to put one of these guys on. This is the, the center of um, that heart chain. And I'm just going to add, actually, I want some smaller ones. I love that we have the two sizes and these are the, the thicker ones. So these are the same height as our foam tape. It's that 0.08. I'll just put a little one right there. I love dimension. Everything that I do has a lot of dimension. But that just kind of adds to that, right? Yeah, good touch. Yeah, so now we need to add this to a card. And this is an important part. You can't just glue this down onto a card or cardstock. Um, the reason why is that you're going to stop these sliders from being able to slide from the back. So you want to make sure that um, you foam tape these up. And so you need to be at least as high as those. And to do that, I'm going to use, there's Simon says, stamp foam tape. And I'm going, I'm going in between those rails so that I don't interfere with the sliding mechanism at all. And you can just, you, you can use as little as, or a lot. <laughs> I use a lot. Make sure I'm getting that. Move up Sorry. just a little bit, Cher, so we can see uh, on camera. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I like so that I you're using wanna... long strips of phone tape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Just, yep. If you want to fill in these other areas, you can do that, too. Um, so you want to make sure that we still have, we can still slide. We're not touching anything on those foam tapes and another great thing so i do have these little um, foam tapes those are my stoppers and what you may want to do sorry to reach far is add a little bit of powder um, so that it doesn't grab those in any way when it's sliding back down so that was just a powder tool and then you're going to want to put this onto your card. Always remove the front for the center first. And then I try to line this up. I did trim this cardstock down so that it would fit on an A2 um, cotton candy background. And then once you get that, then you can reach under and remove your other tapes. And now you have your little slider. Yay! Now we have two little sliders. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, Sherry. And They're I have beautiful. enough to make a third little slider. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have crafting fun today. How, it's fun to see products that you've designed, Sherry, and illustrated and created, and to see you using them in action. I think everybody loves to see that with you. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, were there any questions, have... Brian, before we say goodbye to Sherry that anybody had on the chat? I, I know that our chatters were actively answering questions too. 
yeah, everything I see has been answered. All right. Thank yes. you, Sherry. I'm going to well, stay on, you. but we're going to say goodbye to you because we have some more inspiration to show people for today. You did a really yeah. beautiful job. I thank can't you. wait to watch. All right, thank you guys. You. Thank you. Bye. See you later, Sherry. What a great demo. And it's not over yet because I've got lots of inspiration to show you guys using a lot of the same products that Sherry just showed us and even more products from our exclusive Hugs and Kisses release. So I'm gonna get this earbud out of my ear and Brian, you wanna switch the camera over for me? All right, so just to, let me take a second, just to reiterate, can you guys hear me okay? All right, uh, this is the dye that Sherry was using. It's called the slider plate and this baby is only $6.99. So this is the slider plate, and you saw she was using something called gliders. Well, those gliders are relatively new to Simon Says Stamp. Uh, there's, they're sold, as you saw, there's a long strip if you want something to slide across, and then there's the one that Sherry was using, which are the little dots in the middle. So these gliders are available at Simon Says Stamp. This, there's two different offerings for the gliders, and they work great with the slider plate. Uh, and, a lot of you heard her talking about the Positively Everything tool. It's great to put your drinks on. I saw somebody in the chat said that their Coca-Cola is too big for a regular cup holder, so they put it on one of their Positively Everything tools. It's also great to use as a gripper if you want to open a jar or if you want to put your blending brushes on it. Uh, it's also good for your heat tools. It's also good for your glue because it's made out of silicone. Anything you put on here, uh, like your glue, will peel right off when it's dry. So I wanted to showcase those products really quickly. Brian, how are we doing? Doing good. Okay. One of the other products that you saw Sherry using today, which I have tons of more inspiration for you, is the heart chain. This heart chain is available at Simon Says Stamp. Uh, it's a brand new product, see this? It also will allow you to have a whole assortment of hearts. You can use those hearts any way you like. Here is a card by Allison Frazier, and I like how she put filled in hearts on random cards. I've got so much inspiration using the heart chain. I'm just gonna lay it out. So you can see this is a shaker card by Kathy Zilski. She used her hearts in the shaker card. Here's a layer of the heart chain. Here is, oh my goodness, I've got all kinds of cute little cards. Wait until you guys see this. I'm trying to see who. Okay, so this, somebody actually attached they folded their heart chain over to make a little pocket to hold a little mini Valentine's card. How sweet is that? This is by Allison Fraser. Boy, Allison, you really nailed it. Sorry, I, I opened that on camera. I'm not gonna close it on camera, but I think you guys understand. So this is, all these products used the heart chain, which really is a, a bigger than the, than the packaging shows. So it gives you a lot of options for, if you wanna put them on the front of the card or wrap around or any kind of any kind of heart style. Oh, I can't decide what to show you guys next. Um, okay. Next, I will also share this Hi There die by Kathy Zilski. It's not one die, it's actually uh, two dies that are an Innie and an Audi, which are great for shadows. And you'll see that Cindy from CRN Cards put it on the front of this card. When I say shadow, the die cut out the white part and the red part. And look at this by Barbara Terrial. These cute, cute little heart Valentines. These would be great for your kids to give away in school too, or to put on people's desks at work or in your refrigerator, on top of your refrigerator for your kids for the day, for your spouse or grandma or aunt, anything. And these nested round hearts, Sherry also used this, and you'll see these are all nested into each other. The die comes to you like this, but it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heart dies in one package. And here is some beautiful inspiration by Miriam Prantner. Look at that. So she actually used them all on these cards, and then it looks like Joe Sasavith used only the corners of it. So I wanted you to see that. 
Now this nested round hearts product also works with a stamp set that Christina Warner illustrated. Look at this beauty. We have a blog hop going on. Uh, don't leave now to go yet, but know this weekend if you want lots of inspiration, including some of the things I'm showing you today. You could go to the Simon Says Stamp blog and a lot of these designers blogs. This is from the heart messages. These hearts actually line up with the nested heart die set. So you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a set and get a little bit of cost savings. Some inspiration using these stamps and dies. This one is by Cindy from CRN Cards. She stamped the Sending Love, the Hi, the XOX, but die cut uh, the hearts in there. I don't know if you can tell that on camera. Uh, she also used our new Simon Says Stamp red cardstock. See that really beautiful, shiny, glossy, red metallic cardstock? So we have a red and a champagne that was just released uh, uh, with our hugs and kisses product line. This card is also by Barbara. And this one is by Nina Marie Trapani, who is, who's in our chat. Thank you, Nina, for joining us. Don't forget, guys, if you're in our chat, please chat. Tell us what you're thinking. Introduce yourself to everybody else. Uh, Brian is watching the chat today because somebody is going to win a $100 gift card to Simon Says Stamp. This is by Joseph Sabbath. We, of course, have our traditional Happy Valentine's Day word. Those are our shadow dies. And speaking of words, those nesting hearts that I showed you a little bit ago, Joe used them with the love ya words and Cindy used the nesting heart. She cut out, can you tell that's cut out? And then she put a piece of paper that she did some mixed media techniques on. Are you doing okay, Brian? Is everybody doing all right? Okay. Then I'm going to keep showing you all some more inspiration. Get those creative juices flowing this weekend. I don't know about you, but we should be crafting this weekend. This is a stained glass heart die. And if you look at this, I love our new card stocks. So Sherry used our new, actually this came out in December, that iridescent. Um, it almost looks like broken ice or shattered glass. My son collects football cards, and he calls this the um, shattered glass effect. So he loves the football cards that have shattered glass. Do you, guys, do you guys know anything about this whole football card craze going on? When my brother was young, I remember it was baseball cards, but I think a lot of people still collect baseball cards, but my son's really into football cards. So he trades, and he gets extras, and he's having a lot of fun with the football cards. And I tell you, the die-cut images on the football cards these days are a crafter's delight. Um, Alberto, look at this card. So Alberto used the swoopy love you word in shadow designed by Kathy Zilski and Kathy's in our chat today. Welcome Kathy. Thank you for being here with us. And I've got uh, another love you here and there's an embossing folder, our spun embossing folder uh, in the background of this one with the love you. And see these others have flowers on them. The flowers are using the layered rosebud. So Miriam, look at this. See, I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. I mean, I'm a fan of all color. Do I have any other yellow favorite color people in the chat? I feel like my niece loves yellow as her favorite color, but I don't know a lot of other people whose favorite color is yellow, and I feel like it's the most beautiful color. Why doesn't more people use yellow? So it's nice to see the yellow roses. And again, that is the layered rosebud dye. And I should show that to you because it actually comes with a little magnetic sheet inside of it and all these pieces. And you run these pieces through your machine and then you layer them up to make a beautiful rose. It's real, they're really easy to use. So that was several products. Am I going too fast or too slow, Brian? No, you're doing great. Are you just saying that to be nice? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I hear my mom in my ear. She's uh, my grandma and my mom always, oh, you're so fast. Crocus Floral Window. I am going to slow down for a second to show you this. This is one of my favorites. So this was actually designed by our friends at, oh, no, 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 this wasn't. This was designed by our Simon's Stamp family. So this creates a window on the front of your cards. So you can leave that window white like Callie Person did here. See Callie on both of these cards? And then she put in a, a beautiful background. 
This is a simple, elegant card. If you're gonna make a ton of cards, this is a really good one to do because you can just switch out the backgrounds and have fun making backgrounds. And then I love that Cindy actually colored her crocus in that beautiful classic purple spring that we're all so familiar with. The weather here in Ohio has been weird. It was 55 degrees. I swear I thought things were gonna start budding out for spring already. And it's a little too early, it's still January. Keep those flowers underground, keep them nice and fresh and safe and warm until the spring is here and it's ready for them to come out and be big and full and colorful. Okay, so this is the Love You Very Much die set. Love You Very Much is actually the name of it and it's the word and the shadow. Callie Person designed that card. but So you can cut your dies apart or leave them together. It's really a preference for the technique that you wanna use them for. And this by Joe. Joe put this interesting, um, I don't know if this shows up on camera, it's almost like little cotton balls attach that to give this card a really, I don't know, heavenly, lovely background. And this, I think Barbara used um, some kind of metallic paste here. Barbara Terriau is on B-T-A-R-A-Y-A-O on Instagram. And she shows really beautiful inspiration using the Simon products. Here's another card by Cindy. And it looks like Cindy used our blending, uh, our blending color blend cardstock. That's exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. We actually developed that with a printing company. Uh, we went out, visited their facility, watched them print it, made sure the colors were, were done well. Uh, this is also uh, Susie Plantamura. That is not color blend, I was mistaken, but Susie used her own color blending there. I love this card by Nina that has the dark contrast in the background. Don't, do you, if you're like me, which I don't know if you are, but I love to craft, I never know what to do with my dark watercolors. I feel like I don't reach for my dark watercolors nearly as much as I do my light ones. But look at the impact they have when you use them with a beautiful metallic embossing powder. So Nina embossed with a metallic embossing powder and then did those beautiful backgrounds. Uh, and then I have another card by Miriam Prantner with this Love You Very Much die set. Are there any questions or anything in the chat that I should be? The only question we've had so far is what um, uh, stencil did Alberto use? Or what stamp did Alberto use on his card? Um, I, I'll get back with you guys on the stamp that Alberto used. We're checking on that. Uh, in the, so I, we will get back on that. Uh, this is called the Lace Heart Kaleidoscope. This is the background that Nina Marie used. That's her stamp that she embossed with metallic. And I have a few more cards while we're looking at that. This one is by Miriam Prantner. So she also white embossed that stamp. And this one by Tina Smith. She used white embossing powder and then she did ink blending over the front of it. And all three of these, look how there's three really unique cards from three totally different people all using this lace heart kaleidoscope. This is made up in Cleveland, Ohio. Shout out to Stampers Anonymous. Has little hearts in the middle of it. Use them all year round. Don't limit yourself. Okay, now to answer that question, people were asking what stamps Alberto used here on this card. Well, knowing Alberto, he probably freehand, if he's on the chat, you can let us know. But knowing Alberto, I bet you he freehand drew and colored those. Alberto does quite a bit of illustrating. He actually has illustrated some stamps for Simon Says Stamp that are coming out very soon. Um, and some other ones like the, the um, strawberry bears and our unicorns uh, on our website. He's illustrated quite a few of our cute stamp sets. Okay, so let me gather my thoughts here and talk about this is illustrated by Sherry Carroll, none other than the woman you just saw live demonstrating uh, called Swoopy Flowers. She also designed coordinating dies because you always ask for them. You can purchase them separately or as a set. And she also designed this coordinating stencil. And you'll see what I mean. This stencil allows you to color your flowers beautifully and line them up. I'll show you some examples of that. So if you wanted, this is by Callie. So I don't know if Callie used the stencil here, but 
Susie Plantamura used the stencil here to create those beautiful backgrounds. And again, this is called Swoopy Flowers. All kinds of inspiration, even this little book by Sherry Carroll. So you can go mixed media. She used her nesting hearts. She die cut them in lots of different pieces of paper. Glue, do you guys know how to do that? You, so you cut and then you can glue your next heart to it, glue your next heart to it, glue your next heart to it, and then you just have fun. You can leave a little book for somebody. It's, I tell you, I don't know if it's more fun to make it or more fun to give it. They're both so much fun. So all of these beautiful ideas. Now this one's a standout too. Alberto used his imagination and he actually turned it into, almost looks like uh, an ice cream cone. Use your imagination with a little waffle. He, he freehand drew that. And then I've got another card by Miriam Prantner where she die cut her flowers and added the love you so much die set that we have here at Simon. Oh, I don't want to forget these over here because I put them down first. Barbara Terriel created this beautiful card. I like how intricate this thanks is. I'm going to show you that in a few minutes too. Okay, so we're going to move on to another really whimsical, fun product, especially for Valentine's. If you've got kids that are like 13 and under making Valentine's, this Milo Toucan, Toucan, not Toucan, Toucan, would be perfect for little Valentine's. You can cut them in different colors. Somebody used the color blend. This is made by Sherry. Hey, thank you, Sherry. Sherry used our color blend cardstock, die cut it, and put little Milo the Toucan on the front. Notice how Milo the Toucan has what could be considered a heart eyeball. I like that little special hidden, it's almost like a hidden Mickey when you have little hidden art, hidden hearts. And I was gonna show you that um, love stamp is from Swoopy flower stamp set, those really intricate, I don't know what you, it's just a really elegant font. I like that for any kind of love or sentimental uh, cards. Now I've got a bunch of stencils. So this is our layering heart stencil set. There's four of them in this pack. And you can see Alberto used the stencils in really unique ways to color the front of his cards. And then Nina Marie layered the stencils in different colors to create what looks like candy hearts. Somebody in the chat, um, oh, Alberto used the floral magnolia apple blossom. Okay, good, 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 good to know. So if you guys have questions and I'm not answering it, make sure you look in the chat too because our people who are moderating the chat are watching and listening to your questions too and they may just type out the answer before I see it or get to it or give you a, in some cases, a more accurate answer. Check out this stamp set. So you've seen some inspiration by Susie Plantamura that I've been showing today. Susie illustrated this set. It, it has dies, you can purchase them as a set or separately. So Susie was here for, I think Susie was stamp timber. I think it was stamp timber when Susie was here, we had a kickoff party and she just doodled and drew this stamp set. So talk about a woman of many talents. She doodled this stamp set and then We've got inspiration by Cindy. This is Susie's inspiration. So not only is she illustrating the stamps, but she's using them to inspire you to want to use them too. I think that's what's really special about Simon Says Stamp is that we are really passionate about stamping, crafting, creating, mixed media. We're passionate in a way that helps us connect with you so that we can design products that you want. Oh my gosh, Joe, look at this. Oh, this is so delicate. How beautiful. Joe used our new love die here. This is also part of our, our February card kit of the month. So I think when we talk about products, we talk about quality here at Simon Says Stamp. We want to bring products to market for you that are not just beautiful, but they're useful, they're high quality, we want to inspire you. We want to show you some of our ideas and how to use them, but don't limit yourself to our ideas because you have lots of your own good ideas. This stamp set is called, here I'll flip it over, is called Your My Gal. This was the first one to sell out. Uh, I believe it's, if it's not on reserve on our website, um, that means we've restocked it. I, I didn't keep up with this. I just know this was a, was a hottie. You're my gal. Well, you know what? 
Do you celebrate Galentine's? I do. Galentine's has become a big thing like Friendsgiving has. So you can actually make cards for your friends any time of year. It doesn't have to just be Valentine's. You can love ya. It doesn't have to just be Valentine's. And, and by the way, Mary Reiner, how freaking cute is that? Look at that cute little envelope on the front with a heart and a little sentiment. I mean, come on. So she used the dies and then the love ya from the stamp set. See that right there? Am I going too fast? So this is a big stamp set. It's six by eight. All kinds of fonts, all kinds of sentiments. Um, here's a card for Galentine's Day by Mary Reiner. Happy Galentine's Day. Hey girl. Also Mary. Boy, Mary, you are on fire with these stamps. And then Nikki Baxley. Thank you, Nikki, for sending a card in for us to showcase in our live. And I don't want to forget this one by Barbara Terry out. She also used an embossing folder in the back. She cut out her little stamped images. She even added this nice, beautiful glitter touch. Hey girl, endless support coming your way. I'm telling you, if you're making cards, please, please, please send them. It really makes somebody's day. It adds so much sunshine to get somebody's handmade card. Jumbled hearts. You can see here, Callie Person, Valentine's card. Another, you're my gal. Actually, I should have, Mindy, thank you for sending this. I should have shown this with the um, last stamp set, but I think you, you know what I mean. And then this, Studio J.D. Jean Dorensfeld, look at that. She, very, with a very light hint. I don't know, I think she embossed white on white or maybe clear on white. So she used this stamp to create this subtle, elegant background. What a fun idea. And then, oh, I know why these products work together. This is our stencil set called Love Letters Stencil. And that's how people created um, these balloons on the, the front of this card. Our Love Letter Stencil will help you create these balloons. I'm not gonna do a stencil demonstration today, but if you guys want stencil demonstrations, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is Simon Says Stamp on YouTube, and you'll see tons of inspiration using not just our stamps, but also stencils. Layering stencils are very popular right now. Uh, this is a four flake stencil, so you can use this with your blending brushes and create these beautiful backgrounds. It's not snowing in Ohio right now. I can't believe it. It's like, like I said earlier, it's like spring weather. Uh, but I know that the snow is around the corner, so it depends on where you live in the world, I suppose. This is another popular CZ design stamp set that's got a sentiment for everybody for every occasion. I miss you, love ya, long time no see, hi there, hello my friend, great card sentiments. What's up, just checking in, hello, hi, thanks. There's also, they're called Hi There Greetings. There's also coordinating dies that are available separately or as a set. Uh, and again, this is called Hi There Greetings. Beautiful cards using these greetings stamped multiple times in different ways. I'm loving this technique. I saw Nicole Spore use it as well. And Susie, look at you, Susie. Look at how you Tetris puzzled all of the sentiments onto one card. And then I see these nested hearts showing up everywhere. So. <laughs> Don't be shy if you want the nested hearts. I have a feeling those will probably be gone pretty soon. And Callie Person made both of these cards. And this card is by Joe Sasavith. And feel free at any time to go to these people's blogs and social media so that you can see how they are making the cards and the projects that I'm sharing with you today. Slay every day. So what would you do with that? Here's what you would do with it. You would send, oh, Barbara, look at that. You would send encouraging cards to your friends, your family, your teachers, your doctors, your mail people, your delivery people, your coworkers, fellow soccer moms, coaches, and slay every day isn't something you see every day. I love the idea to do this. So it's also uh, double dies so that you can do a shadow around it if you wish. Slay every day, great sentiment for encouraging cards. Okay, not just Valentine's, loving you. I would send this to my mom. I don't know if my mom's watching live. She tends to watch on rewatches too. Uh, mom, I would, I wanna, I'm committing to making a card for you out of this because I, I love it. 
Here's, oh, this is using, oh, Sherry is using one of Tim Holtz, et cetera, tags. Those are made up in uh, Cleveland, Ohio at Stampers Anonymous. She actually, can you hear that? That's not paper. This is something that you're gonna keep. You're gonna put it on your shelf or hang it on your wall. It's a nice sized, uh, nice sized uh, piece, but there's also et cetera tags and a lot of other sizes too. Um, it's part of the Tim Holtz line with Stampers Anonymous. Uh, that loving you sentiment is on the middle of this card, watercolored on watercolor cardstock. Thank you, Cindy. And you guys, make sure you're chatting with us today because at the end of our live, Brian is going to be giving away a $100 gift card to shop at simonsaysstamp.com. And if you're chatting live, you have the opportunity to be randomly selected for that. I want to share these really cute. If you want to help your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews make Valentine's cards, this, this stamp set is for you. You can use it year after year after year. How adorable. Wild about you, literally. Sealed with a kiss. Hello, Foxy. Somebody loves you. Koala tea time. I think my niece loves koalas. I'll always listen. Big elephant, big ears. I am literally all ears. I am sorry. Happy belated birthday. I mean, these, car these are great, not just for Valentine's, but for all year round. And this is called Wild Love. Say thank you, Kathy Zilski, for illustrating that stamp set. Look at these cards and how lucky Kathy Zilski even sent us one of her own cards using the stamp set. Wild About You was also available at Simon Says Stamp as a die. Oh, Nina Marie, you're going crazy with the animal prints. And I've got a shaker card here, and this is by Callie Person. So this is using the Wild About You dies that Kathy illustrated to go with the stamp set. You don't have to have the stamp set to go and the dies. You can just have one or the other. But I do want to keep showing you these great cards. So Kathy Zilski also did this card. And be sure to stop by our blog hop because you'll see a lot of these cards and more. And you'll get the opportunity to watch some of the illustrators and designers have done videos showing you how they made their cards. And you never know what tips and tricks you're going to pick up. Today with Sherry Carroll, I picked up some great tips and tricks. One is use micro dot adhesive to adhere your tiny bits and pieces like this wild about you die is great with the micro dot adhesive. Another thing I picked up from Sherry today is to double up your foam squares to make your dimension extra deep. That was a good tip that Sherry gave us. Also double up your adhesive foam strips. Another one that Sherry gave that I loved, it was about centering. Don't feel the pressure to center. If you scatter things randomly, there's less pressure. Here's another random assortment. So I like that Sherry said that. Don't feel like you have to center everything. It adds a lot of pressure. And another tip that Sherry gave today that I loved was when you're using glue to glue your bits and bops around in your crafting session, instead of putting the lid on after every single time you add a dab of glue, put your glue upside down in a little coffee cup or paint bin with a piece of I don't know, wet Kleenex or a paper towel or even a baby wipe at the bottom of it. And you don't have to put your lid on and off your glue while you're crafting for a couple of hours and then your glue, glue won't dry out. So great tips. Print making postage, I'll keep on moving. Print making postage, illustrated by Miriam Prantner, also has coordinating dies. This has been really popular with our designers because they've sent in tons of inspiration. We've got the um, postage just randomly assorted on the front of this card. Thank you, Callie, for sending in cards. And then I've got another little tag by none other than Sherry Carroll using this printmaking postage. Question yep. Question about that background. Where is it? Okay, so Nina Marie is in the chat and she will tell you she used the animal print stencils to create that background. But Nina, what I don't know is what did you put through the stencil to create that purple? I don't want to guess, because I don't want to guess wrong, but if you could in the chat, I can't see the chat from where I'm standing, but if you could in the chat share with people what you use to create that purple, I think people would love that. It's a really beautiful iridescent paste. And then I've got another love paw. You know, Simon's stamp is named after my dog, Simon. He's with us forever. Um, may he rest in peace, but we will always remember him. And so Love Paw is a great nod to our furry friends. So if you have somebody that has furry friends, Mindy Egan, instead of kids, which a lot of us do, 
uh, it's good to send them a little little love too with a and with a paw on the front of it. Okay, what are you gonna say, Brian? Purple stencil butter. Ooh, purple stencil butter. Nina, who makes that? I'll give her a minute to reply while I show you all of this inspiration using our fancy love dies. The fancy love dies are also part of our February card kit of the month. This is a really popular die. See all these great cards? All of them look completely unique from each other, but they're all using that. Oops, this is not using the fancy love. This is using our outline love die. That was a little, oh my gosh. Miriam, she used an embossing powder on a metallic cardstock and then I think alcohol inked over it. Look at that. Tim Holtz had a really beautiful, um, I think it was Kubert up in Canada, created a um, really beautiful alcohol ink rainbow with crackle, translucent crackle. You gotta watch Tim Holtz lives on Saturdays. He's gonna do another live tomorrow uh, for mega inspiration on mixed media if you wanna see a lot of these techniques, how people are doing them firsthand. And then I don't wanna forget this is our, this is our love plate. L-O-V-E, it's hard to show on camera, but it's a hot foiling plate. So if you're looking for love two ways, uh, you can buy this hot foiling plate and use it with your hot foils. I don't think I had anybody, nope, I don't think that foiling plate made it to our designers in time for them to send us inspiration. Now I'm going to actually call that cardstock we were showing earlier when I talked about my son's football cards. Uh, he calls it shattered glass. Our Simon Says Stamp team calls it Mirror Ball. Uh, we also now have this available for you as a pack of six sheets. Perfect for die cutting. So this Mirror Ball cardstock is available now at Simon Says Stamp, part of our Hugs and Kisses release. We also have this Heart Pains cover plate, which works really pretty with this Mirror Ball cardstock. But you can see we had designers, ooh, look at that. We had designers use it in a number of ways for the inspiration that they sent us today. And then I don't want to forget to show you this new embossing folder that has really been used a lot on the inspiration we shared today. It's called Spun Glass. I might have accidentally called it Spun Sugar, but a few different times, like this card by Miriam, I said, oh, look at that embossing folder. This is it. It's called Spun Glass. That's what it looks like. Now you don't have to do it on metallic cardstock. You can do it to create a subtle background. Like see that white on white? This card is by Jean Doringsfeld. And so Jean did uh, embossed white just to create that really delicate uh, background for you. I'm gonna show you the champagne cardstock that Sherry was using today. Uh, here is the champagne. It's a champagne matte, which means it's a little bit glossy, but not as glossy as traditional glossy cardstock. It, so we are calling it champagne. See that? So it's a little bit of a dull. Almost like they're doing on the refrigerators now so they don't look so fingerprinty, but it's gorgeous. And then we also have it in a rich red. And so we worked with USA manufacturers to get these just right. And we actually had to run these several times because we wanted to get this ink to lay perfectly on this cardstock for you so that when you cut it and use it, uh, it really has the best results. So we have it in red and champagne. And then I wanna round out just showing you a few products that I'm not gonna share the inspiration with you today for, but the inspiration is all over our blog hop today. This is called Love You Greetings. It's a really nice, delicate four by six stamp set. We have a hot foil plate called Damask as part of our Hugs and Kisses release at Simon Says Stamp. We have a set of overlapping hearts. These are layered stencils. We also have an, uh, this layered stencil. This is the animal print that you saw Nina use on this card here. We have the animal print stencils. We have this cling, and this isn't just one stamp. This is a bunch of stamps that can be torn apart or used together called concentric hearts. And you can see these are all piece. And now you don't have to tear them apart. You can use it as one, one big stamp, but tearing it apart gives you a lot of opportunities for techniques. 
again, made in the USA. And then this product, Floral Garden, was one of our most popular stamp sets last year. And you all loved it so much, we decided to kick it up a notch, and now we have added the Floral Garden stencils to go with it. So if you want to color these in, these stencils layer perfectly on top of the stamp, so you can use your blending brush to blend and do different techniques on top of the stamp set. So if you already own this one, you're going to want to pick up the Floral Garden stencils. If you don't and you're thinking about spring and summer, this is a really great stamp set for spring and summer. You can use it for all kinds of backgrounds and things. And last but not least, you know we always like to add a little bit of something sparkly to our releases. So we have a hug sequin mix and we have this disco heart sequin mix for you as part of our Hugs and Kisses Valentine's release, or just love release. And then we've got our very famous sentiment strips. I think we developed these. Sherry, if you're in the chat, or Nina, I don't remember what year we started doing develop or doing the um, sentiment strips. I think like 2018. We've been doing these for a long time and you're still loving them. What's nice about these is they are foilable because we print them on a toner. We use toner, um, toner when we print them, so you can use them with uh, foiling. So if you want to switch the camera over to the front, Brian, I do have, um, get all tucked in there, I do have card kits for February and a limited edition love card kit. Those are available right now on our website, and you can see behind me, I have the February kit. There is inspiration on that with the kit on our website, with the kit on our blog. Next Friday, you're going to want to join us because next Friday, I am going to feature both of our card kits, the love one, if it's not sold out yet. It might, if it's sold out, you can go to our website for inspiration if it's sold out, but I'm also going to be sharing lots of inspiration next Friday at noon with you. The other exciting news for you all is next Friday after our live, as soon as our live is finished next Friday, we are going to have tickets for you on sale for our Simon Says Create event. Finally, we get to do our in-person create event again. We are doing it April 20th, 21st, and 22nd of this year at the same place we've always done it, the Nationwide Conference Center in uh, Lewis Center, Ohio, not downtown, the Nationwide Conference Center, which is one mile from our office in Lewis Center, there's uh, going to be more information on our blog, and our tickets are going to go on sale next Friday. We will be filling out the inspiration on our blog and sending newsletters to you all next week. Make sure you go to our website and sign up for the newsletter if you want to get that newsletter, because we'll be sharing information about purchasing tickets. We have teachers who will be teaching, and we also are going to do it again. We're going to do a crate and take room, which is essentially a massive ballroom in a really beautiful hotel. And vendors from all over are going to be coming and setting up booths for you to do create and takes. You can do card making. Some of them might be doing tags. Some of them might be doing a little mixed media. But we are going to have a whole massive ballroom of crate and takes. And on Friday, the crate and takes are all going to be different than on Saturday. So if you're going to come and you want to make a weekend out of it, it's definitely worth it. The admission to get into that crate and take room is going to be very nominal. I believe it's going to only be $10. I don't have confirmation on that yet. We're still running some numbers on um, how many people we're going to be able to get in that room. But uh, it's very nominal fee. You'll be able to come in and shop and do tons of crate and takes uh, with tons and tons of vendors, including Simon Says Stamp, and meet lots of people who you see on our YouTube channel in person, including Cheryl Carroll and Nina Marie Trapani and Susan Opal and Beth Opal, and the list goes on. So those people will all be joining us at, at Create as well. Now, if you've been chatting with us, I want to remind you of a couple things. Brian has a winner for a $100 gift card. Oh, he's already handed it to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that for a minute. I want to remind you, if you use the coupon code this weekend, do I have confirmation from Stephanie? Let me look. Oh, all right. So we have a coupon code, WLD, the number four, and the letter U, that will give you $5 off any order. Card kits are not, don't count. I'm sorry, the card kits are already deeply discounted. Uh, they're a great value for you. WLD, the number four and the letter U, you'll get $5 off 
any order you place at Simon Says Stamp except card kits. And that's for you until April 16th. So you can make a purchase today or tomorrow. You can jot it down in your little corner of your notebook and you can make a purchase next week if you want. You can stock up on glue in a few weeks when you run out. Whatever you need, we want to be your one-stop shop. Okay, let me make sure I've got, I want to thank you, Sherry, for doing uh, our demo today with that slider. Remember, that thing's only $6.99. That, that was a great value, too. Um, card kits we're going to be showcasing in our live next Friday, along with information about Simon Says Create. And Brian, am I missing anything else? Nope, you've got it. Well, that means the only thing left is our $100 gift card winner. And you... Deborah Stout, S-T-O-U-T, should email read, R-E-E-D, at simonsaysstamp.com, and he will send you your $100 gift card so you can shop for anything you want at Simon Says Stamp. I don't know if I thanked you for joining us yet. I should have thanked you first thing. Thank you so much for joining us today live and show, letting, uh, letting us share these products we've been working for many, many, many months to develop for you. I hope you like them as much as we do, and I hope that you found the inspiration from the illustrators and designers from all over the world helpful and inspiring for you for this weekend. Toodaloo. Have a great weekend.